I think based on my interviews with with a number of you know more than thirty outpour activists, not only in Belgrade but in Arad House as well, um, based on these interviews, um, many activists told that they avoided um, attacking security forces, you know, by the use of humor or by ridicule. Um, the the idea is this: um, by attacking authority forces you created more enemies. So you sort of push these people back to ally with um, the regime or Milosevic. Um, so, so that's the basic idea. But how they could implement this idea on the ground was even more interesting because they had this um, um, organizational structure in which you would have Belgrade as the, um, the central, um, the headquarters of of the whole organization, but then um, the the role of the main role of the Belgrade was only to provide activists, local activists, with trainings. So the the main content of the training um, was to um, prohibit activists to use um, um, mockery against authorities. So so and they explained about the rationale behind why this prohibition was crucial and um, the activists themselves um, they were um, so-called coordinators of branch town based branch and these coordinators um, would try to implement this um, you know regulation of not mocking security forces but the only target would be either Milosevic or his wife or you know some figures in the government who sometimes acted very absurdly. Um, so, so that's how they sort of frame the whole approach to, to um, the use of humor in the, the nonviolent campaigns.